I don't believe I've played this before. It also has a sequel, it has the Secrets of the Soul 2. This is made by Random Studios. It's random spelled like R-A-N-D-U-M-B. They're mostly known for the Test Trilogy. I know Markiplier did that at one point in the past. But as far as with this, I've played a number of these games multiple times, honestly. I'm trying to scroll through. So I think initially I just played the Test Trilogy and maybe the one of the What the Fuck's Wrong With You games about a couple years ago. And then I think about maybe seven months ago, I replayed through the Test Trilogy as well as a number of the other games, and I just called it like Redux since it was technically a second time through. Now these games, I don't believe I've touched the... So, great, I forgot what it's called already. It's the Test Secrets of the Soul. And apparently there's a Test the Secrets of the Soul too. Let's see, the original of the test came out on February 24th, 2020. Let's see, which ones have I played? There's games called The Summoning, The Twins, and Naked News, which I have not played. I played The Test. I don't think I've played The Horoscope. I played The Test of the Hypothesis Rising, which I think is a Test 2. don't think I've played The Confession, nor have I played The Horoscope, The Fatal Awakening. Or Survive or Thrive. I have played the Test Final Revelation, that's Test 3. I have not played Survivor Die Land, or The Journey Episode 1, whatever this is. Or the Advisor. I have played What the Fuck is Wrong with You, which has an elf character on it that makes me think about Overlord. There's What the Fuck is Wrong with You, and What the Fuck Do You Know. And Gobble. Gobby McGobble. I have played Gobby McGobblenuts as presents The Art of the Dad Joke, Chapter 1. I haven't played the Quirky Quiz Show. Did try the deal with Fantasy Survival Simulator. Have not played the Testing Chamber. I do like the idea of, you know, what the fuck do you know and what the fuck is wrong with you? Just because... I don't know, the character there is really cool. Each of these games has somebody that talks to you and... Well, as you guys see now, it's like Venom or something. But they made a zombie apocalypse survival thing. Oh, they made a medieval simulator too. Did not do that. Okay, Test Secret Soul, February 20th, 2023. I don't know if I. Don't think I have. Fate Weaver, Alchemist Quarry, The Test Secrets of the Soul 2. So, a sequel to what we're doing today. And then Fate Weaver Smash or Pass. I don't know. Bah! Oh, yes, Chan seems working okay. I don't know. Heck, I could always replay any of the old test games again. Like, it's like, oh, you played a third game. I don't know. But I don't think I've played this game. But I have played the original test trilogy at least twice through. Like I said, the first time I played the test trilogy was like two years ago, and then I played it a second time, like seven months ago I think or so. I don't think I've played this exact game, maybe, I don't think I have. Can I use the controller? Yes! Oh, greetings one and all to the most cursed, most cringiest corner of the internet. A YouTube channel, content creator, Actively alienating everyone in both the analog and digital world. Well, welcome, good evening, wonderful dice of all alignments. I am Lunar D8. Every angel has a demonic past, and every demon has an angelic future. If so, wishes if one so wishes is to be. You 
find yourself in the inside of a desolate chapel, in the throes of a midnight storm. The rain pelts the windows like falling stones, and the wind rages on as the chapel doors tremble. After a quick glance around the room, you hear a low, gristled voice growl at you from the darkness, beckoning you in. Well, hello there, Wanderer. It's a pleasure to find you here. Come in from the rain. Rest your weary bones, for we have much to talk about. It looks like the storm is going to last a while, Wanderer. Make yourself comfortable. I don't think you'll be going anywhere for some time. We should find something to pass the time, don't you think? Perhaps we should get acquainted with one another. I'd love to learn all about you. I'm sure your soul is full of stories, Wanderer. I'll bet you have delicious secrets deep inside, too. I have an idea. I'm going to ask you some questions, and you're going to answer them for me, very, very honestly. That way I'll have the opportunity to get to know you. The real you. Now, don't you lie to me, Wanderer. No one likes a liar. In the end, I will tell you what I see, deep, deep within your soul. Doesn't that sound like fun? Let's get started, shall we? Make yourself comfortable as we delve deep into your mind. We'll begin now. Do you know what the meaning of life is? Do you believe beauty is ageless? There's multiple ways to interpret this. Do you believe a human being can produce something perfect? Do you believe inspiration can be created by oneself? Would you say art is an integral part of life? Would you consider yourself to be a talented individual? Do you believe being beautiful is an advantage in life? care about more of your appearance than others care about your appearance? Do you believe art can be judged? Do you believe people should be judged? Do you believe there are certain things that exist that we cannot perceive with our senses? Would you say that you often lack motivation? Do you believe that originality exists? Do you believe your imagination has a limit? Do you believe insanity is the key to being a genius? Do you believe that one day the world will speak only one universal language? Do you believe societies shape people? Do you believe time erodes achievements? Do you believe you possess free will? Do you believe you are a self-fulfilling prophecy? Do you believe some problems cannot be solved? Do you believe in the existence of karma? Do you believe you can accurately measure a person's success in life? Have you achieved everything you want to achieve in life? Have you ever experienced a miracle? Would you say you dream often? Would you say you are plagued with nightmares? Are you sometimes afraid of yourself? Do you believe you made an impact in this world? Consider yourself to be a rational individual. Do you believe you always have full control over your own actions? Do you believe everything in life has a purpose? Have you considered yourself to be a fearful person? Do you have many regrets in life? Do you feel like anything is holding you back in life? Have you ever been heartbroken? Have you ever broken someone else's heart? Do you believe in destiny? Do you believe the future is unpredictable? Do you believe 
that all things in life are connected in some way. Would you consider yourself to be a prideful person? Would you consider yourself to be a vindictive person? Would you consider yourself to be a loving person? Would you say you usually learn from your mistakes the first time around? Do you believe that true equality exists in this world? Do you always treat everyone you meet fairly? Do you believe you've always been treated fairly? Do you believe you can do you believe you can escape change? Do you ever prolong simple tasks you know you ought to get taken care of? Do you believe the end always justifies the means? Do you ever use harsh words when speaking to others? Would you consider yourself to be a resentful person? Are you putting your best effort into shaping life the way you want it? Do you believe you made many mistakes in life? Are you willing to try anything once? Maybe. Do you have a pretty good understanding of who you are as a person? Have you ever felt like... If your best friend was dying and you were the only one you knew, would you tell them the truth about their condition? Do you believe... Have you ever wanted to live forever? Have you ever questioned why you exist? Do you believe your life has value? Have you ever doubted your own existence? Would you consider yourself to be defective? Do you believe good can exist without evil as contrast? Have you ever felt like you were placed here for a greater purpose than what you serve? Would you consider yourself to be a violent person? Consider yourself to have a dark mind. Would you consider laughter the best medicine in most cases? Have you ever loved someone who did not love you in return? Have you ever wished to be loved by all? Do you believe that you can still live a happy life if you were hated by all? Are you initially afraid of letting others get close to you for any reason? Do you have any nervous tics or anxious quirks that you know of? Are you a fan of Hell yeah! Are you a fan of thunderstorms? Hell yes. Same here, man. Granted, I don't want to be driving, especially down a freeway. Or, you know, in the rain. But it's amazing to be able to sit and listen to it, or watch it, or cuddle during thunderstorms. Like, imagine just you're watching anime, eating snacks, cuddling. You have somebody that, you know... You guys know what I'm trying to say. And then, you know, have fun, and then have sleepy time cuddles. I'm just saying, thunderstorms are nice to listen to and watch, and also it makes the air smell nice. It just, I don't want to drive down the freeway, or go anywhere, or be in them. Are you able to find peace among chaos? Do you believe that you have peace in your life at this very moment? Have you ever feared that perhaps you have a grim future? Have you ever been overwhelmed with a sense of dread or impending doom? I've been wondering how to turn that off. Would you say that you have many friends? Would you say that you have many enemies? Have you ever trusted someone entirely without question? Do you sometimes believe that you are destined to be a hero? Do you sometimes believe you're destined to be a villain? You had superhuman powers, would you use them exclusively for good? I'd try to. I don't know how long that would last. One week later! <laughs> uh, you often find beauty in those who cannot find beauty within themselves. Do you have difficulty finding beauty within yourself? Do you, do you believe that sometimes suffering is as your part of life? Have you ever caused someone to suffer unnecessarily? that torture is ever justified. Have you ever felt like life is torturing you? Do you believe that war is necessary for peace? I mean, as long as no one's an asshole, then... But, you know, again, it's... This is... I 
mean, you have to be willing to fight, you have to be willing to go to war, but... I mean, if nobody wanted to start shit, then there's no reason to fight with anybody, but... This is just saying, hey, can all humans get along and no one ever have a problem with anyone? I'm just saying, it is possible where things out without people hurting each other. Is it ever going to happen? No. Just being idealist. Do you find violence to be entertaining? Yes. Do you believe that morality can be taught? Do you believe that success is always a good thing? You can get away with breaking any laws you want to. Would you walk around doing anything you want? Would you say that you know right from wrong when making life decisions? Would you consider yourself to be an excellent judge of character? Are you good at telling when someone is lying? I've learned. It's... It's... Would you consider yourself to be a talented liar? Nope, I'm awful at it. Are you always honest with everything you need in life? I've been told that's a sign of autism. <laughs> like, everything's like... You know, look through a fucking list. I'm like, oh, here's traits of people that are autistic. And I'm like... Okay, majority of that describes me, but I'm just going to say I'm eccentric. At best, I'll say I'm half, half autistic. But never been actually diagnosed, so I'm not. But apparently inappropriate honesty is considered an autistic trait. But, I mean, you're supposed to tell the truth. I'm sorry, I'm weird. If you find a stray animal and bond with it over the course of a year, only to be confronted by the owner. My puppy. You often see the good in someone, even when it's not there. Do you believe that the difference between good and evil is only a matter of opinion? On some issues, but there's some circumstances where... No, it's, it's definitely... A fact issue, but it's like... Do you believe that love is a weakness? Would you consider yourself to have fortune and luck most of the time? Would you consider yourself to be a merciful person? Do you believe that honesty is always the best policy? Have you ever broken an important promise even though you shouldn't? Do you believe that ignorance is bliss? Have you ever wondered if life could be a test? I find your answers very interesting, Wanderer. I believe I've got to know you so much better in a short period of time. I'd like to thank you for allowing me the opportunity. It truly has been a pleasure. Hmm. As a token of my gratitude, I'd like to bestow upon you a gift. This is a gift of insight, Wanderer. I will tell you what I see deep within you. Please listen to my words carefully, Wanderer, for they bear the weight of your soul. We must do something dangerous, Wanderer. We must do something we fear, do we? Something that perhaps we've never done before. For then, and only then, will we have results we seek. For we cannot achieve different results through the same feeling process we come to know. The best decision is often the hardest one to make. It's that decision that burns a hole through your skull and melts deep inside your brain. It's the decision that gives you a wicked fear. As though your belly is full of blackened butterflies, flapping their wings violently to escape to no avail. You know what you need to do, Wanderer. You know exactly what is holding you back. You can have so, so much in this world. You can have anything you wanted. All you have to do is the thing that you should be doing, but consciously or subconsciously chose not to pursue. Why do you think that is? Is it because it's too hard? Too difficult? Or do you think it's because it's too different than anything you've ever done? The fear of the unknown shackles even the greatest of entities wander. But to those shackles deep within your heart, you hold the key. Dig, wanderer. Burrow deep. Carve the key from within your soul. And bring it to the surface. Make the decision you're afraid to make. And watch your life change for the better. The most dangerous of roads lead to the most beautiful destinations. The hardest hunts leads to the greatest of bounties. Nothing worth having in life ever come easy. And 
As soon as you make that decision, it plagues you with fear and anxiety. You try so hard to avoid the life you wish for won't just be a wish anymore, Wanderer. Heed these words, Wanderer. They will help you on your journey forward if you let them. I want to give you one more parting gift before I take my leave. A simple gift, if you will. One singular. That gifted word, wander, is wishing. Remember, this word moving forward will help you in ways you couldn't possibly fathom. Trust me on that. And with that, I take my lead. Until next time, wander. Thank you for playing the test series of soul. I played the original Test Trilogy, which was three different Test games. It was neat. I actually played them twice. Like, once two years ago, and once again. Oh, I wanted you to say all of the name games. Ah, uh, you can see there's random studios. Okay. And like I said, I'm open to suggestions for games or stuff. Heck, if you want me to retake the old test games or stuff, I don't know. Everyone's like, Lunar, go to bed. I'm like, okay. Lunar will go to sleep now. <laughs> Night, guys. Hope everyone out there has all the hugs and head pads you can ever want. Hope you guys are sleeping well, having good dreams. Good night, everyone.